to uh, forego the big screen. Oh, well, feel that's three great pieces of fielding today from Jonty Rhodes. This was hit very firmly indeed, and well wide of Rhodes, just into the ground, which took a little bit of the pace off it. It's raining on either side of the ground, and it's also raining the ground itself, unfortunately. The umbrellas, uh, no shortage of them, and uh, players will go off the field now. Well, so far, only one batsman up in the 20s there. Graham Thorpe, 27, not out. Great fielder John D. Rhodes was responsible for the run out. And the support batting, well, there's plenty to come. Stephen Rhodes going well, Lewis De Freitas, Cork, and Goff. 80 for four at the moment, with almost half the overs gone. South Africa, good to see Alan Donnell back in business. Two for 15. And Craig Matthews, truly outstanding. Six overs, two maidens. One for nine. Excellent line, excellent length. So England need 102 more runs to win, and that was the situation when rain stopped play. South Africa played up at Old Trafford. It was interrupted by rain yesterday, as you know, so the full story of what happened today comes now from Tony Lewis. So the position overnight, England 80 for four, and Thorpe, a key batsman there, 27 not out. Stephen Rhodes is his partner on 10. Let's join them now, the second over of the day. Donald is coming in to bowl to Rhodes. Three runs have been added. It's the 29th over. Well, just a bit there for him. It cut back, kept a little low. See the ball not carrying too high. And then I think we'll see when he gets warmed up, one or two balls will hit uh, grassy areas some tufty bits of grass around and it'll go through quite comfortably waist high to the keeper so uh, batting will be well just a little uh, tricky for England he's done him uh, between bat and body almost cut him in two well this one really did carry look to clip the top of his thigh cut him in half and that really carried to the keeper no problem <laughs> neat stroke from uh, John Thorpe Gary Kirsten the fielder Donald, not as his fastest, but he's got the line right and the length. That one rose, hit him on the left glove. Not far away from uh, Brian McMillan. No justice. Nice slice of luck going for England. Off the edge, just wide of second slip and beating third man. short but he latched onto it very very swiftly well when you think last over Graham thought was a little circumspect and edged Alan Donald through the slip this was a gorgeous shot but right across and smacked it just short of a length it was very important for these two batsmen to stay together 
psychologically get past the hundred without losing the wicket. Again, you'll feel much happier. You get to about 120. You get to around about 120, 25 without losing another wicket. cricket this morning, certainly going to be about ability, but it's going to be a lot about nerves. It's going to be very tense out there. Either side will fancy their chances. And it's just a question of which team can hold its nerve. Good shot. That was beautiful time. It wasn't a, a fierce slash outside the off stump. Perfect timing and great placement to keep it away from the man at backward point and the one down the boundary. Just a lovely, deft little shot. Well, it was almost, you could say, a delicate steer, wasn't it? He didn't really hit it at all. Richie Bannell says he just used the pace of the ball from Alan Donald and placed it to perfection wide of the third man nicely rugged up and very happy to be here Starting to play well now, Graham Thorpe. Just about reached Jaunty Roads. Made a magnificent effort to get to it. Well, I mentioned earlier about the pitch uh, and a few tricks. It just plays a little bit too early and it nearly carries. Well, that's the first real false shot this morning. Graham Thorpe got an outside edge to one of Alan Donald, but it's just a good ball. This one, you could say, well, he was looking to make something from it. It bounced on him. I don't think it really was wide enough to, to look to square cut. Not John T's morning. Yesterday was magnificent, could do no wrong, and today he can't lay a glove on it. Nice way to bring it to half century. Beautiful straight. Just about as good as the one he played earlier of uh, Alan Donald. That's a splendid knock from Grant Thorpe. Yes, it was a good knock under pressure and still under pressure, but what a cracking back foot shot. On the up. Played very sensibly, Stephen Rhodes. A good partner for Graham Thorpe. And then he produces shots like this with high quality cover drive on the up. Lovely straight bat. Classic follow through, good balance.
out. Well, that's what the man was there for. And Tim Shaw has bowled well because his line's been good to Graham Thorpe. No question of that. If you've only got three men offside, then really your line has got to be spot on. Otherwise, you're going to give runs away. He hasn't done that. He's deserved a wicket. And that's the end of Graham Thorpe. 55. End of a good partnership as well. They came together at 60 for four. So the partnership's been worth 70. Cullen taking the catch. 130 for five. Doesn't quite get the pitch of it. Nearly there, but not quite. And you see that pack leg side field hit it straight at Daryl Cullinan. And uh, Cullinan this time deciding not to throw the ball up in celebration. Not until it's safely pouched. There we go, it hangs on to it. No dramatics, simply out. Chris Lewis. Partnership worth 17, it came in 20, 20 overs. So that was a good tidy rate at a time when the innings not quite in the balance, but certainly a wobble there. That's Lewis at his best. Outfield slow after the rain, and he still made three from it. again from Stephen Rhodes second time this morning that he's found the gap at extra cover with consummate ease almost identical stroke to the one he played off Craig Matthews start the summer Raymond Ellingworth was talking about him batting at number six in order to get a fifth bowler in it's never come to pass other than in these one day games I think what he's showing us is uh, Good front line batting. Always been a useful performer with the bat with Worcestershire and in one day situations a good improviser, but he's, he's become something more than that now. Well, that was a nothing shot. Occasionally we refer to one as that, and I think that is a perfect example. Well, it was a good slower ball that, I suppose, in effect, confused Stephen Rhodes, still trying to get bat on ball. The great thing about nothing shots like this is you actually seldom run the risk because with the slower ball, so it hasn't actually carried through to David Richardson. Even if he hadn't hit it, he'd have been safe. Then a shot like that. That was a nothing shot. This was a something shot. Four of them. I think they might have worked out by now, these South African bowlers, that uh, Stephen Rhodes is playing that shot rather well this morning. Brings up the 150. We'll make two the target, remember. That's a good shot. The game's no problem at all to Stephen Rhodes. Four runs through square leg. Nicely kept away. He's 49 not out now. He certainly looks in good nick, uh, Robin Jackman. Played very nicely, has he? Played the perfect role. The junior role whilst batting with Graham Thorpe, just laying it off for ones. 
So the Thorpe had to strike, and after Thorpe out, he's taken over. And that's his 50. It's had a cheeky look about it. Lots of profitable dabs down to third man. Some pleasant cover drives. It's a very capable batsman indeed. 50 not out, 161 for five. Oh, well bowled. Really hammered that into the ground. It went straight through Lewis's defence. And yet, it bounced before the keeper. Cracking shot. And Rhodes. Grows and grows in confidence. Yes, no, all oh, hesitation, and that must be out. Terrific throw. That's Daryl Cullinan. But an appalling piece of running. I wouldn't like to apportion the blame. And that's a sad way for Stephen Rhodes to go because he batted beautifully. 56 run out. Lewis, the striker, knocks it into the hole in the covers. He sets off, and then the discussion starts. The yes, the nose, the weight, and the sorrows. Good throw from Cullinan. Philip De Freitas is the new batsman. Intelligent that delivery was. That's one way to get them. The answer from uh, Donald <laughs> to De Freitas's remark. Is the headlock. And the quick third is all that's needed. And England have won this match at Old Trafford. And they've won the series 2-0. The Texaco Limited Overs International Series. And it completes a very, very good end of season time. The England team skippered by Mike Atherton. And with Raymond Illingworth as chairman of selectors. They've won at the Oval to square the series. They've won this limited over series now. And that's a very, very good performance. Well, it was soon clear that that partnership between Thorpe and Rhodes was going to be a match winner. They put on 70 together for Thorpe chipped the ball to mid-wicket and Rhodes was one out. And the total of 182 for six came along quite comfortably in 48 overs and two balls. Tough for the South Africans on the second day. It was very blustery out there, and the bowlers did struggle a bit. But the pick of them, to my mind, was Craig Matthews set nine overs, two maidens, one for 20. The wicket takers, Donald, two. And Tim Shaw, the other one, removed one. And so England won the match by four wickets, and the series, two games to nil. Mike, congratulations. It seemed a very professional performance by England. We played reasonably well in the two one-day games. Uh, the wickets haven't been easy, they've not been ideal, and the one-day wickets. And so the games have perhaps been a, bit, a little bit dull for the spectators, but we played OK, and, you know, it's nice to pick up a trophy. Kepler, things didn't quite go right for you, but uh, did you feel perhaps at the end of the tour it was uh, maybe a fence too high to jump? 
Oh, not, not really. I think in this match we, we got off to a reasonable start and then sort of lost our way a bit and never really recovered. And uh, even when we bowled with 180, we thought we had some chance and uh, didn't quite work out that way. But uh, we've enjoyed the tour very much, so uh, you know, it's gone all right. Yeah, how has your team developed? I mean, what are the good things to come out of this tour, the, the whole tour, I mean? Oh, I think at various times, um, particularly during the test series, I think some of our batsmen played well. We, we had some, some bowling spells that were good. Daryl Cullinan came back to form, which is nice to see. And, uh, you know, we, we've sort of got a steady side and a steady unit, so we've just got to keep building on that. And what's your international programme uh, coming up? Oh, very congested. We, uh, we've got a short tour of Pakistan, I mean, a test series with New Zealand, as well as a whole host of one-day games, so pretty busy. And, Michael, back to you. Um, well, I suppose England go to South Africa in a couple of years' time, but you must uh, anticipate that with some keenness. Well, we've got to get through a couple of hurdles before sure. then. Uh, we've got the Ashes Tour coming up, obviously, but the winter in 95 is going to be a busy one. We've got, we go to South Africa for five Test Match series, and then the World Cup after that, so it'll be a keen contest. But this was a good series, pretty even all round, really, apart from the one day. Yeah, I, I mean, I really enjoyed the second half of the summer playing against the South Africans. They're a very competitive unit, uh, and that, that's the way cricket should be played, and it's nice to play against a team like that. Thanks very much, both. Thank you. Thank you. The man of the match was Stephen Rhodes for his wicketkeeping and his excellent batting. And then the man of the series for the England side was Philip de Freitas. And for South Africa, the series hero was Daryl Cullinan. For our next cricket is Warwickshire versus Worcestershire coming up next weekend. That's the Nat West Bank Trophy final at Lords. It'll be Saturday in Grandstand, BBC One, at 10.25. But the thoughts here at Old Trafford are that England are a very professional and very efficient one-day cricketing team. They have two Texaco trophies to show for their labours this summer. From us all at Old Trafford, goodbye. Thank you, Tony. England uh, had a good day there. They certainly... <coughs>